morning and thank you to Hershey's Board of Directors for inviting us back. My name is Claudia Wong and I'm Vince Riverton and we are your internal business ethics consultants. Today I want to begin with an introduction of the problem and our proposed solution. Next we'll talk about the ethical framework by which we came about our solution and last we'll end with four ethical questions that you might think of to give stress tests to our proposed ethical solution. So to remind you guys, today we are here to talk about product labeling. The cocoa industry as a whole faces a lot of ethical challenges in that child laborers are the primary means of um, moving the cocoa industry forward. They face a lot of physical beatings, um, emotional abuse, and many wrongdoings as a whole. Now, it's no question that child labor is wrong and that this is an ethical issue. However, what we want to talk about today is product labeling. So as a consumer, we are, um, sorry, as a company, we are trying to rid our supply chain of this unethical behavior, and we have actually set a goal for 2020 for all of our cocoa to be ethically sourced and not contain child labor. But in the meantime, does the consumer have the right to know of what we are doing? More specifically, we think that the consumer does have a right to know and we should fully disclose this information. When a consumer walks into the store and purchases a Hershey bar, we believe that right on the product label, they should be able to read more and learn more about the harsh realities of child labor. More specifically, we want this label to include two key things. First, that the chocolate industry as a whole, not just Hershey's, faces this issue. And second, that Hershey's is committed to and on track to meeting our 2020 goal of eradicating child labor from our supply chain. Now this might seem like a radical thing to do, but Vince is going to walk through the ethical framework and explain why it is the right thing to do. So when making an ethical analysis, the essential point is to make a judgment as to whether an action is right or wrong. And the way to do that is to identify certain criteria that test whether an action is good or bad. And there's no clear consensus on what criteria to use. If you intend to do harm and the outcome of an action is, or I'm sorry, if you intend to do good and the action, outcome of an action is harmful, uh, is that a good action because you intended well, a bad action because you caused harm, or some combination of those criteria? Um, rather than look through an external lens at Hershey's, we want to look at the ethical standards Hershey's has set for itself. Uh, what is in the code of conduct? Because this is the public uh, information that, cons that consumers can access. Uh, these are the values we've said that we believe in and that consumers are going to expect us to uphold. In Hershey's own co business code of conduct, it says to never misstate the facts and never mislead consumers through any form of product labeling or advertisement. Now, that's a fairly straightforward statement. Uh, misleading, the fact, mi uh, misleading consumers um, is both a reasonable expectation that consumers can have, that there's a certain degree of transparency they expect, and it's also the value that Hershey's wants to put forward. But what does that mean specifically for child labor in West African cocoa farms? Uh, that kind of specific detail isn't covered in a general guide and business principle. So we're going to look at the external standards that Hershey's has either signed in treaties or recognized to inform us of what it means specifically to mistake the facts or mislead consumers. A variety of treaties and human rights documents have been signed by Hershey's, uh, including the Harkin Angle Protocol in 2001, which recognizes a uh, declaration on workplace rights uh, with eliminating child labor as one of its key tenets. Uh, the way that these human rights have, uh, declarations have been applied and globally recognized by a variety of countries and companies is that you can never omit information even if there's a risk of human rights being violated and even if it wasn't directly done by the company but by an associated partner. That has to be disclosed in a way that is too accessible to the consumer. And that's the key words. Uh, those are the key words, omitting information and accessible. So coming back to Hershey's own standards, when it says to never misstate the facts, we, sorry, we think it is an ethical responsibility to directly inform the consumer on product labeling. Uh, to explain how we arrived at that conclusion, uh, 
will now identify four questions that you may have. So the first question that we thought is a viable question is, so this label itself is telling us that the way we're producing our product is unethical. So why produce this product? Why don't we just scale back and only use ethically sourced cocoa and then produce chocolate from there? To answer this question, we believe that we should keep up with full production because scaling back might not directly solve the problem. Chocolate is in such high demand that any competitor can step in and take over that market share, and we believe that they definitely will do so. In addition to that, we don't know what that competitor is like. We don't know if that competitor is committed to fair trade like we are or if they don't care about the human rights violations in their supply chain at all. We don't know this and there's no way of controlling this. Therefore, we as Hershey's are not only financially capable, but we are definitely on track and are sincere in making the significant effort to rid our supply chain of child labor. Therefore, we believe that we should retain our market share even though there might be some unethical ways in which we are doing so right now but we should label it and honestly convey this to our consumer. The second question that we want to bring to light is why do we need to label it at all? Why don't we just put out all this information on our website and let the consumer read it about it themselves as we are doing now? To answer this question, we want to go back to what Vince mentioned of widely accessible. We believe that even though our website contains all the pertinent information as to the issue of child labor in our supply chain and what we are doing to mitigate it, it's not widely accessible in this fashion. For someone to be on our website and reading about it, they need to be practically researching the topic to begin with. So in order to reach all the consumers who don't know to go on our website in the first place, the best and most efficient way of reaching the widest audience possible of consumers who don't know about the issue at the first hand is to directly reach them at the purchasing point, which is to identify on our product label that this is an issue and that they can go to our website for more information. The next question is, when labeling products directly, can we simply state the positive aspects that we are committed to reaching this 2020 deadline uh, of 100% certified cocoa bean source? Or do we also have an ethical responsibility to include the negative aspects that there are currently child labor uh, human and human rights violations um, of the worst kind in cocoa production? This can be answered quickly by going back to the two points of accessible information and uh, omitting information. It would be omitting the information to say, uh, to not include these rights violations. And that, uh, and this is the information that, that's the key point that has to be made accessible at the time of purchase to consumers. Uh, so it can't just be a positive, we have a deadline, or we have a, uh, a goal to meet 100% certified COGO, it has to be uh, stated that there are rights viol human rights violations happening at this moment. And the final question is, is it ethically uh, wrong to say that this is a chocolate industry problem? Is it wrong to uh, perhaps overstep our boundaries and include other companies in this label? Not by name, but by saying how uh, all COGO uh, suffers from this uh, kind of human rights violation. It is, <coughs> sorry, uh, it is not ethically wrong to overstate these boundaries, uh, or to, because, first, it is true. All, co all chocolate companies uh, have to deal with this uh, unethical sourcing problem. Second, it's publicly available information. We're not disclosing anything private or sensitive. And we're not doing this to taint other companies' reputations. So in no way is it liable of that sort. Uh, this is about identifying the problems to the consumer and giving them an awareness, making that information accessible. And uh, we don't want to uh, omit the information that another company uh, may not be facing the same troubles and the same ethical standards that we ourselves want to uphold. The, uh, this is a way for the customers to hold all companies accountable. And so in conclusion, we uh, think we should directly label products. Thank you. Thank you.